Welcome. Welcome to Thoughts Roundup. It's so nice to have you on the program again. Well, I have uh, a guest with me today, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in real careful because this is a, one of the sharpest young men in, in the country. And careful, careful. You know, That's big. Uh, uh, we're going to have to, uh, what do they call you? <laughs> they call me Rusty. <laughs> Rusty Hathcock, would that be Rusty Hathcock? What's left of him? That'd be me. Brother Rusty, I appreciate you being on the program. I'm honored. I'm honored to be on here with you. It's the first time. Brother Rusty Hatcock. Now, I've known him from the time he was born. And uh, in fact, Brother Rusty, I dedicated you to the Lord. Yes, sir, you did almost 53 years ago. And you don't remember, do you? <laughs> Not all of it. <laughs> Not all of it. But anyway, and when I was, uh, my wife and I was building the church in Dallas, Texas. Uh, Brother Rusty's folks was in our church and they were such great people and it was so good to have them. But now, for me to live long enough to come and speak for you, yes, sir, the pastor of the church, and uh, it's so good to have you. Well, I tell you, Brother Marler, uh, of course, I've been hearing you since, like you said, since I was dedicated. And uh, yeah. it's, been, uh, it, it's been incredible to watch. And I, I'm, I'm honored that, well, that, that you come and speak to us. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what, he pastors uh, a beautiful church here in Terrell, Texas. And uh, the, the Hathcocks have been associated with this area for many, many years. And he has a lovely wife and uh, a great family. Yes, sir. And this man right here, he, he's humble about it, but I want to tell you, he is one of the great preachers. He's one of the finest speakers and anointed men of God. I heard him preach Sunday. I preached one time and he preached another time and I'll tell you it was out of this world to, to hear him preach. And uh, he has a beautiful, beautiful congregation. And they're such nice people, such nice people. Uh, Brother uh, Hathcock, you have, he showed me, you showed me some of the finest property yes, in this whole country. Yes, sir. Excited about it. It's right on the highway. Yes, sir. Tell us right where it's, the new property that they have not built there yet. It's, they, it's the property they're going to build on. Yes, sir. Just uh, just about a mile from where we sit, uh, just a little east of here. Uh, we're actually uh, just on the southeast corner of the city of Terrell, uh, right between two shopping districts, and uh, in in one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. Well, tell us about that. Yes, we are in Kaufman County. Fastest uh, Kaufman County is the fastest growing county in the state of Texas right now. Texas uh, is in a neck and neck with the state of Florida from what I understand, but I think it's the fastest growing state. And uh, Terrell uh, is the fastest growing city in Kaufman County right now. And uh, we've been blessed to purchase these 11 acres. Uh, 11 acres on what highway? On Interstate 20. 
I wanted to hear you say it. Yes, sir. On Interstate 20. Um, Interstate 20. Yes, sir. So we we've, we've been we've been blessed. Now let's see. How far does Interstate 20 go from where to where? Coast to coast. That's what I thought. Coast to coast. So if I you believe. if you get if you get on this thing and go the whole direction, you're going to eventually pass Brother Hathcock's church. That's right. Now, what's the name of the church? Life Point Church. Life Point yes, sir. Church. Yes, sir. Life Point Church. Now, uh, let's do, let's do, uh, make mention that it's a Pentecostal church. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Because a, a lot of folks are going to be looking for that yes, sir. church. Yes, sir. I, I, I like to, uh, my favorite way to describe our congregation when people ask, uh, what kind of church? Because a lot of folks don't know what Pentecost is. They've heard a lot of things yeah. over the years. And uh, so uh, I'm undeniably Pentecostal, but uh, I absolutely love to describe our church that we have an Acts 2 experience with a Psalm 150 environment. I see. And, uh, and that's, a, that's a great, uh, that works for us. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just look for that. <clears throat> we'll look for that church. How long have you been preaching? Uh, this is uh, this is my twenty fifth year full time ministry. I I won't say twenty eight years now. Maybe just cross that. About twenty eight. Twenty seven for certain. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yes. Sir. Well, now I want you to know, folks, that Brother Hathcock is asked to preach men's meetings yes, across sir. our country he's asked special meetings of all kinds and uh he just uh, uh is in he wouldn't want you, me to say it but uh, the the camera's rolling and he can't stop it. he is in demand as a speaker and as a, as a preacher now tell us about your family just describe your family to us tell us Ages right. and so forth. All right. Uh, my wife, Missy. Uh, Missy. Yeah. Missy. Beautiful, beautiful young Cajun lady. And uh, and then we have uh, three daughters that uh, have brought three son-in-laws to us. Or sons-in-law, properly, I think it is. And uh, they're, they're good good men, serve the Lord. All, in the, all, all of them are in the church. And then uh, there we have four grandchildren and one on the way and one on the uh, way yes they are uh, uh, 11 5 2 and about five months and uh, so I'm blessed with a beautiful family Absolutely. well that is so super yes, sir. Uh, now your father yes sir Russell yes sir was a preacher yes sir is a preacher and he's kind of retired, semi-retired. And, uh, you know, like I mentioned, I believe that y'all started out in our church in, in Dallas. And these folks have always been like family. Yes, sir. Like family to us. And uh, my wife, she's gone to be with the Lord. But she loved y'all so very much. She just... She prayed for y'all, yes, and everything. Yeah, and it's time marches on. Well, let me let me tell you if I if I can. I don't want yeah. to take over your no, show. No, I want you to I talk. Want to, want to tell you, uh, Sister Marler would never know the impact. Uh, my wife uh, just told me last night, uh, just a few years back, she was going through a, a severe health crisis. Yeah. You may remember some of that. Sister uh, Sister Marler gave her a little line, just a little stuff, little stuffed animal, a little beanie or tie yeah. or something, yeah. or whatever. Uh, gave it to her and and told her to just go face everything with courage, just like that line is a courageous beast. Courage like that line. And uh, she she told me last night. She said, you know, it was it was that and. Uh, Couple of, a couple more people that really impacted her life and uh, 
Yes. Made a, made a positive statement with that. Well, Joan, she really did love Angeli. Oh, yeah. That's, that's my mother. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, what do you think? Or, or two? I mean, is it just winning souls and getting ready to... What was it going to take to wrap up this uh, building, actually building this new church? Well, uh, you know, it truly is going to come down to, to the financing. Uh, financing. Ultimately, there, the people are there. The city's hungry. Uh, I think there's a high demand for it. Uh, we have people come in church quite often and say, uh, it's just too close. They don't want to be breathing one another's air, and it really is that full sometimes. And uh, so I think really it's just going to take the people uh, catching a, a vision to give. To and, give uh, and do. And, and, and just sometimes sacrifice. Well, no. Do what we can do. Yeah, sacrifice. Yes, sir. A lot of times people that have it don't. So the people that don't have it has to come up with it. And they have to sacrifice in order to do it. Yes. Uh, but then there again, God gets a hold of people that have it, and they yeah. they yeah. give it. Yes, sir. Do you look? Are you have you got any kind of a, a future? Okay, folks, let's pitch in and let's get it going. You got any kind of dates? Yes, yes, sir, we do, Brother Mar, uh the second weekend in, in September. Uh, I've asked our church to start praying uh, about what they can give, uh, whether that be whatever that, whatever that may be, and uh, we're going we're gonna to receive that. And uh, I'm, I'm believing for a million dollars. million dollars? Yes, sir, in, in that service. Uh, it looks like right now about a four and a half million dollar project, and so uh, it's it's going to take well, that. Well, that would kind of put you on your road, wouldn't that, it? That would get us going. I, I'm believing for that in one service. Uh -huh. yeah. And you know, of course, if there's people that feel like they can give it now, uh, as opposed to then, and count it for then, that'll be fine. So I'm I'm, I'm thinking that by the second week of September, we'll have the million we need. We've got some now, but we need a million now. In other words, you could uh, have some note if you had cut down on this end of things. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yeah. sir. And yeah. that'd still leave us with a note, but uh, yeah, we help, could do help, that. Help, not uh, be quite as much note. We could continue in all of our missions giving and outreach to the community oh, yeah. and uh, not be hamstrung with. You have always with, been giving, with, givers. With, well, You've always been givers. Well, you know, uh, Brother Russell and I went out today, played around the golf. Yes, we did. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I did too. I had a good time. You yeah. hadn't been out in a good while, had you? Uh, it's been about seven or eight months since I've been on the golf course. Well, how come you beat me then? Well, you you just couldn't putt today. I can't putt any time. <laughs> My putt. <laughs> If I could put, I could win win some golf, but I uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not. I just never have been able to put. I can't figure out how to get in the hole. But did you know I've had two hole in ones? Really? Where yeah. where were those at? I had one in Memphis. Okay. That's cool. And I had one in Saxton, Missouri. Uh, what, what, when did you have those? Were those? Oh man, that was when Buck was a calf. Oh, that was when Buck was a calf. I had a, let's see. I. Don't know. That's probably been thirty-five years since I had that. They put it in the paper. Neither one of them was on a Sunday, of course. Oh goodness, no! <laughs> if I could have been, if I'd been playing on Sunday, I wouldn't have told it. <laughs> That's the but, but you know what? I, they put it in the newspaper, in Memphis newspaper. How about that? Who was back then? They did that when somebody made a hole in one. Yeah. Well, they put it in the paper because. You know, most pros have not made holes in one. Yeah, it's true. And you know why? You know why I made one and they didn't? It's, a, it's all luck. Is it all luck? It's luck. Yeah. Well, if you, if you shoot one 
shot and it goes in the hole, you just count its luck. Yeah. Has nothing to do with skill. Very well, little. And uh, on Thanksgiving Day in 1998, I hit an eight iron, 148 yards, and I was so excited when I hit that shot. I knew it was gonna hit right by the, by the flag, right by the pin. And I turned around a, a, little, a little ahead and, and gave myself a little jab, and all the group started screaming, it went in. It went in? I hit a hole in one and did not see it. I had already turned around. Look for, you can look for it and, and look in the hole the last thing. Yes. But I want to tell you what, I might not even brought it up if I had known you would have made one also. Well, just, just one, but you got me, you doubled me. Yeah, I did quite. Yeah, you got me. And, you got me. And, and, but now let me tell you something. All right. 148 yards. Yes, sir. That's what I shot. That's what, that's what mine was. 148 yeah. yards. How about that? And there was a man standing off out there, and he saw that go in. He run and grabbed me and hugged me. You didn't know him? No, I didn't know him. No, I didn't know him. That's but, awesome. uh, well, and you also fish. Well, now, I, I fish. I'm not a fisherman. Do you like to fish? I like to fish. I like to fish. I, You'd I, have to. Your daddy likes it so well. He's And, and he's pretty good at it, uh, for, for certain. Yeah, I like to fish, but... Uh, now, give us the address... Give us the name again and the address of your previous your church where you are right now. Our current location is Life Point Church. Life Point Church. P O I N T E, uh, and uh, Life Point Church, and we're at sixteen hundred Griffith Avenue. Griffith. Yes, sir. Griffith. Sixteen hundred uh, Griffith Avenue, Terrell, Texas. Because we want people to. Traveling through here, stop by and have church with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let you preach a little gospel to them. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's out of all out of all the things we've talked about, fishing and golf and preaching. Preaching, yeah, preaching is my love. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's it. Love. I I I'd rather be preaching than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Anything yeah. else. But. Yeah. Of course, I like it better when it's going right, when it's doing right. That's when, right. When you kind of got it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> but, sir. You know. Of course, you've had it a lot of years, so it ain't never really been bad for you. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've, there's <laughs> been some times that I've, you know, the, the old saying I used to say, if you didn't do good, you say you dropped your watermelon. Yes, sir. Well, I dropped my watermelon and, and stomped the seeds. There you go. <laughs> Before. Yes, well, listen, I have enjoyed being here with you yes, so sir. much. Honored. And I appreciate you being on the program. Yes, sir. I'm honored. And, and we want everybody to remember where you are and when they're coming through on vacation or something. Yes, sir. Very kind. Just stopping. Uh, a lot of people, did you know a lot? Of, you'd be shocked at how many people. Church people include church on their vacations. Yeah, I'm learning that. Yeah. Uh, just in the last couple of years, we've had a, a considerable amount of travelers. Drop in yeah. to a different church, not planning on moving or nothing. Yes, sir. Just to be in a different church. Yes. And so forth. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being. Well, thank you. Thank on, you for. On the program. And. I'd like for us to do, oh, look at the backdrop. Look at our background. This is La Quinta uh, Hotel, and this is what you see when you come into the lobby. Yeah. Cowboy boots. Is there any words there or behind me? Is it just? It says, wake up on the bright side. Wake up on the bright side. Wake up on the bright side. And, is that the boot scoop boogie or what is that? Well, <laughs> that's just cowboys, isn't it? It could be a little of both. Could be a little of both. The boat. toes are turned up. Yeah. yeah. Now that's made out of. Uh, that's a that little old bitty tile. Tile. I couldn't think of the word. It's made out of tile, folks, and it is just beautiful. 
yeah, to come in here and see. Them. That's okay. Thank you again for being with me. And thank you, Brother Marler. I God love bless you. you.